Shalom brothers and sisters. World Economic Forum. It always makes one perk up your eyebrows and wonder what they're doing next. Like do they have a secret lair like the bat cave somewhere where they get together and have nefarious meetings? Most probably. But not for the good of anyone. WEF orders governments to start limiting food to fight climate change. So it's not bad enough that the famine's in full swing and growing and getting worse by the day. Let's limit food as well because that's going to save the planet. New York Mayor Eric Adams is the first to announce the master plan justifying his administration's plans to restrict the food supply for New Yorkers, declaring that 20% of New York's greenhouse gas emissions are tied to food. Mayor Adams eats a plant-based diet and he has announced that his goal is to reduce food-related emissions produced by the city government by 33%, wait for it, within seven years' time. Oh, there it is again. Seven years. Seven-year plan. Seven-year span. Seven-year agreements. Seven-year treaties. Seven, 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 and then suddenly someone gets up and signs that big seven, and no one will bat an eyelid. In this seven year period, they will accomplish everything to the point of citizens cannot eat meat. Bill Gates' synthetic meat products are being positioned as the substitute for beef. Conspiracy being called at the moment is that the meat products that he's making might cause cancer. I can very much believe that because that would tie in with the depopulation agenda and what they're on track for. The same people have a new target now, rice. The Food and Agricultural Organization also notes that rice is one of the most important staple foods in the world. Over 50% of the world population depends on rice for about 80% of its food requirements. And about 95% of the global output of rice is produced and consumed in developing countries. And according to Yuval Harari, Mr. Noah of this generation, the useless eaters need to be taken out. That would be all of us and our rice. And there's already droughts affecting rice production and now they might want to focus on limiting rice as well. Maybe, you know, because of the water and all sorts of other things tying into their climate rubbish. There is an agenda in play here and it's in full swing and it's happening in front of everyone and people are still sleeping. So no matter how crazy people think you are, sound the alarm, shake them, try and wake them. It's okay if they don't like us. It's okay if they call us crazy. We love them and we're trying to pull them into the light while there's still time. God bless. Keep looking up. And go have some rice. Shalom.